Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to make a four digit combination lock using Arduino. It is an interesting project. I hope you're going to like this. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. Our project has a rotary encoder with a switch by which we can enter the passcode. A 4-digit 7-segment module is used to display the code. A relay is used to open and close an electromechanical lock. I have used Arduino Nano for this project. Any other Arduino board can also be used for this project. If you want to buy the components used in this project, you can find the links in the description below. So this is the circuit diagram of the project. According to the circuit diagram, I have created PCBs and placed all the components onto the PCB. Now let's see the Arduino code for this project. In the code, I have used a library for TM1637 7 segment display module. Before you upload the code, you need to download the library for the 7 segment module. So this is the Arduino code. Now let's upload this code to Arduino. So this is the full project. The default passcode is 1234. By turning the encoder clockwise or counterclockwise, we can change the first digit of the code. By pressing the button of the encoder, we can change the second digit of the code. And by pressing the button again, we can change the next digit. After changing the last digit, press the button one more time to enter the code into the system. If the code is correct, the relay will turn on for 2 seconds and then it turn off. If you want to change the passcode, press hold the button and restart the system. Now enter the old passcode. Now enter the new passcode. And your passcode is changed.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.